Hello, my name is Dre Wersema, and I'm the product manager for the Multi-Engine Optimizer, also known as Mayo. The Multi-Engine Optimizer does exactly what its name says. It optimizes the use of multiple engines on a single vessel. How do we do it? We do it in three ways. First is, we load into the Mayo cabinet all the performance maps, the emissions maps, and the torque response maps for every engine that is on that vessel. Then, we use control algorithms and signals from the vessel owner on power demand to determine what is the exact combination of engines that will provide the lowest possible fuel consumption or lowest possible emissions for that particular load. In the daily reports, you can see your fuel total history to have an example of your daily trip and lifetime fuel savings. You can get instantaneous fuel efficiency to see how you're operating at a given moment. Look at system optimization, your vessel mode, how you've been running, and events reports which shows your diagnostic history and your operator action history. Secondly, enables us to utilize to operate engines at individual load points. So let's say on a four engine vessel, we could have one engine operating at 80% load, one at 60, and one at 20, all based upon what combination of load points for those particular fuel maps will provide the lowest possible fuel consumption for that vessel's operation. If you look at the screens here, you could see how we have a trend of the fuel operation in the past day, or we could also choose week or trip or over uh, instantaneous operation. You can see generator status the same way. And then also, we have our whole system overview. You could overview the power management system on the vessel. Uh, example here, a four engine system with the tiebreaker in the middle. And you can see each generator is operating on, and you have different loads to indicate the dynamic asymmetric load allocation, which provides some of the fuel savings. Thirdly, Mayo enables the use of highly differentiated engines on the same bus yet without causing instability or over voltage situations. So instead of operating a vessel with four perfectly identical engines, you could have two engines at a large size, two engines at a medium size, and two engines at a small size. Those combination of engines designed to match the particular load profile that that vessel experiences on a day-to-day -day basis. In other words, we don't need to run a large engine at 5% load, we'll run a smaller engine at 50% load. All of that works to give you the best possible fuel consumption. And then so an overview, this is the main user interface. Also in the cabinet, we have our telematics communication box, which allows data to go back to the back office to provide summaries to the customers and reports that they would want to see available on our product link application. We have our programmable logic controller behind the main cover. And down below, we have our bus management master controller, which collects all the bus information via Modbus TCP from the customer's interface. What's nice with Mayo is we can document our fuel savings. We load into it simulation models to determine what the vessel would burn with the normally operated engines and what the vessel burns under the Mayo configuration, and we document that into the customer's vessel data system. You can also select NOx maps. So if you want to minimize your NOx output, instead of optimizing by fuel maps, you'll optimize based upon NOx output. How might that help you? Perhaps you're in an emissions containment zone where you're limited to the number of hours you can operate based upon your total NOx output. Perhaps you have NOx credits. You get financial credits from the government for NOx reduction. Or perhaps you want to take an old vessel and provide it with some uh, increased emissions efficiency. As a whole, this is a great new system that provides a lot of opportunity for the customer to really optimize their vessel to have the most complete fuel savings that they can.